Awesome, awesome. So, well, this is one of the questions I get a lot from more of, I think, the 50 plus community. Most people, are, they're afraid you may get arrested because just because right. CBD is under the, the cannabis moniker, right? So, um, <clears throat> it's illegal for me to use CBD. So, the answer, I'm going to put my lawyer cap on. I'm not a lawyer, but it's going to say it depends, right? Any good lawyer, you ask them a question, they say it depends. And so, it all depends, right? If you have a pure isolate CBD, right, from that has 99.9% .9 isolated CBD, doesn't mean it's 100% CBD. There's a potential for maybe THC or something in there. It's not 100%. So I tell people that if they're worried about their job, right, taking any type of CBD, there's a small potential, even if it's isolate, that you could become positive for THC because the urine tests aren't, they're not smart tests. They literally just look for a specific molecule. Um, so it all depends, right? CBD is legal under the hemp bill. If it's derived from hemp and it's 0.3% THC or lower, it's legal, 100% legal. But it all depends on your state. It all depends on your job, right? I know a lot of jobs, you, you can get fired if you're just taking a full spectrum. Like I've, I've talked to somebody that um, they drive for a living. They're in sales and they were and they, they use CBD. It's full spectrum tincture. They were driving. They got into a car accident. They weren't impaired. Um, but they draw your blood right away immediately because they're a corporate company. And all of a sudden they say, you get THC in your blood. Oh well, yeah. I use a CBD tincture. I get for to help me sleep with my anxiety or well, you're fired. You, you, you're using THC in the job. The, the problem is THC is fat soluble. So it can stay in your system for weeks, months, for a long period of time. And we don't know, we don't have the technology yet. Maybe someone will create it. Maybe me and you will that, we don't know how long ago did you actually, is it that molecule active? Did you, like alcohol, we know it's half-life. We know how long ago if you drank it and how long it's going to take for you to clear it, right? And so with, with cannabis, you could use, take 10 milligrams of a THC gummy today, but still pee positive a month later, but you have no, rec you're, not, you're not impaired at all in 30 days from now, but it still could be in your fat cells released as you're losing weight and kind of exercising. So that's a very tricky question. I think it all depends on your situation, right? And I tell patients like and clients, hey, up front, here's a disclaimer. If your job relies on you taking a urine test, as long as you understand that there's a potential for this, have at it. But you know, I want to be able to sleep well at night knowing that I've given you the best information available. And so if you know, I put the decision back onto them. And but CBD is hundred percent legal. Um, <clears throat> and so it's it's becoming so popular, right? It's becoming part of the nomenclature and people still don't understand CBD. It is a cannabinoid, right? Cannabidiol, um, but it's not necessarily coming from the cannabis plant if you're ingesting it in products that you're getting in the public because that's coming from hemp. Um, so, but hemp is cannabis and, you know, so, <laughs> so that's another discussion. <laughs> I know, I know. 